Hello everyone and welcome back to another Moto Vlog. It's been a while since we've had one of these and actually I was uh, waiting to go out to the Space Ghost before I did another one. Uh, but uh, Zach here is in town and uh, we just had our wedding uh, just uh, the other day and we are leaving for our honeymoon tomorrow. But I figured uh, since, you know, everybody's in town and Zach wanted to go for a ride on uh, Bugs' other mo motorcycle, we could do that. And then uh, that's Bugs up there and Nicole to the right of him. And Nicole's in the, the yellow. So in a perfect world, yes, the Senna's would all work together and we could record that and all that. But that's just not the case. I don't have uh, the audio equipment to record everybody's Senna's. And not to mention, my God, if you've ever tried to pair up four Senna's, it's a nightmare. <laughs> It really is. But, uh, anywho, we are on, uh, I believe this is 441. This is a huge road that goes right, it cuts right through the west side of Orlando. And we're going up on a, a road that we like to go. We've done that before in a previous Moto Vlog, but we haven't done it with a group this large before. So I figured, hey, you know, what the hell? I'll record it and uh, share it with you guys. I know a lot of you guys like the Moto Vlogs on the channel and wanted to see another one. And this time with an even bigger group. So that's Mr. Houseneck there on the left. And this is uh, everybody else. And we're going to make it right here because this takes us. That's, the, that's a 429 right there in front of us. That's the highway that'll take you all the way down to the turnpike. South. way north to Sanford it will but we've done that before it's not our first time but I figured I'd be in the back and I would uh, be able to you know videotape everybody else videotape who says the word videotape anymore I don't know I, you got me so uh, the wedding was awesome we had a blast the reception went really well it was pretty much everything you could think of uh, that I mean, it's everything you could think of, but it went perfect. Had a few snags, but other than that, it was uh, it was without a hitch. And we had uh, a party bus, this ultimate party bus that holds like 40 people. It was like a, one of those prevosts, you know. So we did uh, we did that, and then we, everybody went down to Cocoa Beach, and we got married in Cocoa Beach. And it was so funny because the water, the tide, was down pretty low. And right in the middle of the ceremony, a huge wave came in and just destroyed us. <laughs> I was like, that's pretty fun. Man, that is a huge bump. I usually ride to the left, but we're in a, you know, a group. Um, and right there, that, that bump usually is not that bad. But it uh, looks like it's getting worse over time. That's to be expected. There's a, a, uh, a Popka police car up there they do this quite a bit. They patrol these areas. Papa does. Uh, I was worried about that. We have somebody behind us following us, but they're going to be stuck now. Okay, we're all good. I had to pull off the side of the road. We had to wait for uh, that yellow Mustang that's following behind us. That's uh, Zach's girlfriend. And uh, I didn't want her to get separated from the group, so I pulled over, waiting for her. So now I got up here, back with everybody, and uh, that sack right there behind me on the right. Well, it's a beautiful day, though. I mean, it's uh, you know a little overcast, a little cloudy, but temperature-wise, it is just about perfect. It's like 70-something degrees out, and man, in this jacket, it just feels so good. It really does. So I've had my, uh, I think these are Maxo. Let me just said that last time, but they're Maxo uh, Kevlar jeans. And I've had them for a while. I've been riding with them. I've got to say, worth every penny. They're expensive, but they're worth every penny. They're very comfortable. They have armor in them, you know, knee pad, everything that you, could, you, that you would need in their Kevlar reinforced. But they're just, they, they don't feel like they're really heavy or anything like that. Like, it feels like a slightly heavier jean than, like, a normal one, you know what I mean? So things like that. But I'm really liking them. So if you've uh, been on the fence about it, 
I can I can honestly say that they're a, a fantastic product. They're good quality. Nice up on 50 there. Yes, it's 50. A little for rent. Well, if you want to uh, open up a business, there's a lot of those rundown buildings out here. Well, this is one of my favorite parts of uh, Orlando is out here way to the west. Because you just get that country home feeling, you know? Hometown country. It's real nice. signal to uh, Zach that he can come over this way. There he goes. That way he can ride up front. I'll tell him he can pass me. This intersection right here I've uh, I've had some interesting uh, happenings here not me personally but the other motorcycle or not motorcycle but other cars man I can't speak today I'm sorry makes it very interesting and I would be stuck behind a dump truck this is always fun <laughs> Zach has a, a Honda motorcycle, but it's an older one. I think it's got carbur it's carbureted, but it's under the weather right now. It's not running. So that's, uh, it's cool that he can come down here and he can uh, ride Bugs' uh, Harley. And I think it's the first time you guys get to see Bugs' Harley. It's the Street 750. So when we took our MSF courses, you actually end up, uh, you, uh, train on the Street 500. And that's just a little bit more CC there. And that was the first uh, bike that Bugs bought. I'm very happy with this sports I know a lot of people say I'm going to outgrow it and I'm going to want more out of it, but I don't know. I don't think that that is the case. I really don't. This thing is uh, plenty of bike for me. Now maybe one day, just one day, I'll get to uh, ride an Electra Glide, because that's, I've always wanted an Electra Glide. I, always, I find those motorcycles so cool. Everybody's stopping them, they've got a truck backing in. truck simulator right there. That's, that's a truck you don't see a mod for yet. I haven't seen any of those. The International, what, the, the, the Pro Star? I would like to see one of those for American Truck Sim. They're a very common truck. Oh, look at that police truck. A Popka F-150. There's a Popka's a bigger town than I thought it was. If they're patrolling way out this, this far north. Actually, kind of the pits sometimes whenever you uh, are stuck behind one of these dump trucks because they fling rocks and all sorts of stuff at you. It is not nice. Trying to catch up a little bit here. Now I'll just go into fourth gear. So yeah, pretty much the rest of my day is going to be recording videos, editing them, getting them out the door. Um, try, I'm trying to stay consistent with uh, my normal series, um, but console recording of Red Dead has been really helpful. 
uh, during this time of my wedding and all that. Uh, I will be in uh, Bora Bora, which is uh, in the French Polynesian. That's where we're going for our honeymoon. I'll be there uh, for a week next week, so there won't be live streams on the Twitch channel. I will have content on the uh, on the YouTube channel. That won't change. But if I do miss a couple days or something like that, that's the reason why I'll be out of town for that. That's the reason why I haven't been able to do a way out with uh, with bugs. It's because we've just had everything going on with the wedding. Okay, we're all good here. We all good. Let Zach come on up here again. Zag attack. But like I was saying, I will be out of town. That's the reason why there might be some gaps in uploads. I'm going to try to not let that happen, but we'll see how it goes. But a way out, that'll happen when I get back. Um, we really want to record that and play it. We're excited for that. Yay, the dump truck's turning off the road. Um, but apart from that, I, you know, still doing LSPDFR. Really excited for the new LSPDFR to come out at 0 0.4, I guess, is what it's going to be, that update. That's going to be real nice. There's a lot of neat features that are coming out for that. And maybe it'll revive it a little bit. Because, you know, we've been kind of, you get the same callouts over and over again, and big hats to all those developers out there that make those, those callout plugins. Those are so nice. Tell Zach you can pass us if he'd like. There you go. Get on up there, boy. <laughs> That's the number one thing we've been, uh, we cannot stop because we've all been playing Red Dead Redemption so much, is all of the things that are said in that game about, like, you know, your horse, like, you're all right, girl, or all right, boy. Just saying that over and over again. And Zach gets caught in those loops where he just says it over and over and over. And so I just feed it back to him over and over and over again. So it drives everybody crazy, I'm pretty sure. Written t-shirt. If you guys saw the moto vlog uh, when myself and Bugs went to Sanford, this is the uh, Sunoco up here that we went to. This is the one. Right there. So we're gonna go down that one uh, road that has all the curves. It's a good, it's a good road for you know somebody who's new to the area. It's not too intense. Big Peter Bale truck. Man, I haven't been able to get out and ride my motorcycle as much as I was. I've really missed it. Just had so much stuff going on. have let's put her in fourth gear here no need to make all this noise in this little neighborhood these are some fun roads though that corner. I think this is where the uh, golf cart crossing is. Yep. Classic. <laughs> there. Another rider. 
motor. take in the sights and sounds that's the nice thing about these uh, moto vlogs is they're very chill and relaxed and trust me after all of the hustle and bustle that we've had over the last few days this is definitely what the doctor ordered for sure I've been thinking about uh, picking up some of them Butler motorcycle maps That'd be really neat. Find some new roads here in the area of Orlando. The problem is, is like we don't want to go like three hours away from home to like Mount Dora or something. Or that's why when I do the Kennedy Space uh, Center run, I got to ride all the way out to Sanford and then uh, do it from there because uh, that's a little bit of a drive, a little bit of a ride. So I need to get a Butler motorcycle map, see some uh, roads around that are maybe a little bit closer that we haven't gone on yet. Because we're starting to get a little familiar with uh, these kind of roads. These are very simple, you know, north-south roads. Can't get too lost on. Got a Chevy Silverado pulling over to the side of the road. Well, maybe. See me, buddy? I don't know what they're doing. Looking for a spot to park, to hunt. I mean, that's possible. Yeah, this is the road that brings you out to Rock Springs area. me of a, uh, a van like RV thing. My grandma has some uh, property in uh, Sullivan, Missouri and uh, growing up we used to always go down there, they could always call it the country. You know, going to the country we knew that that was going to be a day. You know, go down there, fight off mosquitoes and June bugs and wasps, bees and I, I mean as a child I really hated various insects. Still don't like them. But I really hated them back then because when you go down into the country, there's just so many everywhere and there was, they're massive. I remember seeing like ants that were like that big. They're huge. Uh, but anywho, getting sidetracked. Parked there was a RV slash, looked kind of like a, like a large surfer van kind of deal. Well, I wouldn't say that. More like a UPS truck. That was an RV. And uh, that RV was all rusted out, had a bunch of junk in it and all that, and it just sat there. So when I see something like that, just a derelict vehicle side like that, well, that color tan and the brown reminded me of all of that. So that was really cool. Um, but there used to be a massive, massive wasp nest in there, and it was, it was scary. As a child, that was, uh, that was scary stuff, getting attacked by a bunch of wasps. Now, I never got stung by them because they came out, and I just ran out of there. But I was terrified that I would get stung by them. <laughs> Reminds me of that. That was some good times down there. Used to play with my. Uh, I had a huge plastic uh, C-130 airplane. Uh, I remember you, remember, you know, the Green Army men, the ones that stand up. That was like my jam when I was a kid. I was playing with those, and I remember. I mean, this is the, the coolest thing about 
you know, growing up, my parents never made us feel like we were poor. I mean, we we're clearly looking back on it now. I don't know how they do it. You know, they're, they're the unsung heroes of our childhood and made it seem like everything was great. Um, but I remember one evening, it was like a Friday and we were at school and they picked us up from school and I was like, man, this never happens. So they picked me up and uh, I don't know what happened. Maybe they got a bonus at work or something, but we all got new presents. And one of the presents that I got was this big giant plastic Hercules, C-130 Hercules airplane that you could put all your army men into and all your plastic army tanks into. And that was just probably one of the coolest fucking things my that I that I remember. Like that was just such a neat thing. And I will always remember that. I want to say that was in 89, 1989 or 1990. So that doesn't show my age. <laughs> We lived in a place uh, in Missouri, it was called Grubville, which is uh, outside of DeSoto, and it's just to the west of Cedar Hill. Grubville, Missouri. Why was it called Grubville? Well, they had grubs everywhere. I remember when we had like uh, cedar planks and various logs and stuff, when you rolled them over, that's whenever uh, you would find these white grubs nasty little things. They're huge. But also, that is where I learned how to ride horses. Uh, our friends that live next door to us, well, we had two separate sets of friends that live next door to us on the other side, uh, but they all had horses. And we, uh, we got to go riding on those. And uh, one of my friends at the time was a girl named uh, Jennifer Greenhill. And uh, she had a, a horse named Willie. And that was uh, the first time I rode uh, bareback riding on a horse, where you just literally get on the back of the horse, no saddle, nothing. And I believe it has a bit and uh, your reins, and that's it. And man, we would just take that thing everywhere. I mean, literally everywhere. We'll slow down for this light. I didn't want didn't want uh, Lauren to get uh, stuck at another light. Um, but uh, that was when I first started getting into horses, and I love horses. That's one thing about Red Dead Redemption, man, is just that you get to uh, you get that thrill of riding a horse. Not the same way. Not the same way. Um, I wouldn't say that you get the thrill of riding a horse, but that bonding and, and talking to the animal. Things I always, always love about horse riding. I need to go do it again. It's something that uh, I've been really ha having an itch to do again, go horseback riding. Um, one thing that I did uh, do within the last, well, I wouldn't say last few years, probably, I think it was like 06. My dad uh, lived in DeSoto, Missouri, and uh, he lived on a, a farm that had him. And I would take uh, one horse out, Gray was his name, took him out to the, you know, the little corral, rode him around, got used to him, trotted with him. And then once, you know, he started trusting me and I trusted him, they were like, yeah, you can take him out. And I took him out and oh my God, to be an adult, because when I was a kid, you know, I, I don't think I really appreciated um, horseback riding back then because I was too young I, I just knew that it was just it was a way of life it was just something we did we just rode horses and our friends had them that was just something that we did but uh, man to be an adult and take a horse out in uh, the wild like acres and acres and acres pastures I have no idea where we're going uh, acres that was the coolest thing and that is uh, something that if you, if you ever get a chance to go horseback riding, do it. 
don't be terrified of them getting bucked off or whatnot. A lot of those stables you go to, they're used to humans and they get along. But if you take even five minutes to bond with that horse, you know, patting it on its side, talking to it, giving it uh, your best intentions, saying that I'm not going to make you uncomfortable and I'm not going to hurt you, so don't hurt me. If you have that kind of mental image in your mind when you do it, uh, you're going to be all right. Go down to third gear here. Fourth was just chugging her a little bit. Yeah, sometimes we come out here, we just do these zigzags. But I'm not in charge of the route today. By the way, it's uh, Bugs' birthday today. So be sure to wish him a happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Bup, 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 bup. All right. Well, I think this is going to be the end of this vlog. This moto vlog. Uh, we, we're going to go probably get some lunch. And then after that, uh, I'll probably ride back home. So that'll do it, guys. I will see you in the next moto vlog. Again, hopefully we go to uh, Kennedy Space Center. But I'll see you then. Take care.